Good evening, everyone. Welcome back to more Project Ozone. That's right, guys. Project Ozone. Uh, I'm here with my friend Dave. How's it going, Dave? Uh, feisty. Hmm. Just because I put you in a box, Dave, surrounded by cats, doesn't mean you have to get aggressive. Uh, it's like the quarantine for the zombies who had too much to drink. Where are your clothes at, Dave? Man, what in the world is going on? Guys, welcome back. Dave, I'm going to use you for a social experiment, and you're going to like it, aren't you? Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I guess not. Thanks, Dave. That was Dave, everybody. Guys, I did stuff. Uh, oh, snap. Okay. Uh, sorry about that. It kind of jarred for a second there. That was weird. Uh... Yeah, anyway, as I was saying before I was rudely interrupted, uh, Notch, if you're out there, I know that was you. Uh, guys, my endo farm is set up. Uh, well, actually, I would not call this a farm. This is like four flowers. I've never used these before, guys. They're kind of cool. Uh, kind of going an example of what I did here. I just got a dropper. I set it up to the computer to import coal blocks. No big deal. I got a timer from RF Tools telling it to tell this to kick out a block of coal every 100 seconds. According to the Wikipedia... Endo flames burn a block of coal at a rate of 400 seconds. I do not know how much they generate, but 400 seconds per block of coal. So every 100 seconds it kicks out one, kicks out one, kicks out one, kicks out one. By the time it's on the last one, it kicks out one again, this one's at zero. So what I'm saying is this is like a perfect circle. There is never a piece lying on the ground for too long. Uh, except sometimes there is. So I don't think... Maybe he changed the values, I don't know. But as you can tell, guys, this thing is really kicking out the juice. It is going very quick. I am gaining lots of mana. Guys, holy crap. Uh, anyway, something before we get going here. Uh, something I made a little while ago. So, I mentioned before that I like to check out other other channels on the YouTubes for, you know, some hot tips. I do learn stuff uh, every once in a while. One, men yeah, one thing mentioned a long time ago was there's a better way to make a crossbow, guys. I hope you're ready for this. Damage value. Survey says... 98.5 hearts of damage. That's right. Uh, it was a really helpful tip I found out a long time ago. And it actually works, guys. You remember how I made the Fenderium crossbow original? I use all Enderium. Well, if I replace the crossbar, you know, this piece, with Signalium, it immediately doubles the damage. So I was so close to getting the most overpowered crossbow I could think of. Well, it's not the most overpowered, but it is the Fenderium crossbow 2.0 edition. I also got RF on it. I added a battery and now it uses juice instead of actual repair. Uh, it has auto repair because that's what it got when leveled. I remade my bolts. They are now Fenderium bolts 2.0. I added one thing of auto repair. Durability. More durability. And the rest it kind of got over time. But guys, uh, this is made from slime core. It has Fenderium alloy poured over the top of it. It then has slime leaf fetching attached for optimum uh, I don't know what the word would be, but it's pretty optimum. Guys, the weight on this thing is ridiculous. Look at all these things. There's so much. Uh, crap, I can't even read it. It just scrolls off the screen. After that, you're supposed to stack quartz. I stack nothing but knockback, guys. It's a shame I don't have anything to kill because the knockback on this was... Hello, kitty. What are you... No, I would never shoot a cat. That is just rude. But yeah. The knockback is insane on this. It is so funny watching mobs go flying like 30 feet. I did nothing but pistons for like 7 or 8 modifiers. Absolutely hilarious. So guys, quick example here. This is my old piece of crap crossbow. 40.5 40 hearts of damage, but the problem was the bolts. Look at these bolts. Are you looking? Good. Because they... 22.5 <laughs> weight. And the bow only has a firing speed of 5.4. Look at the drop on this. This is the piece of crap I was using. Apparently there is armor piercing too, based on the weight of the bolt. But look at this range. It's awful. I can't even hit the bullseye. However, with the new Fenderium Crossbow 2.0, that is no longer a problem. The range on this thing is huge. Like, you could hit a spider across the map, guys. Uh, it's not 100% accurate, but it is super, super close. It is super, super nice. Whoa, I just kind of drifted there for some reason. <laughs> I guess I caught wind of something. But guys, this is a huge improvement. I must have spent like two hours in the nether last night just shooting mobs in the face because it was the funniest thing. And then, as most people would probably do in Minecraft, guys, I was sitting here shooting my bow like, oh, this is the greatest thing ever. Look at the speed this thing is firing and the range and the distance. And then I thought to myself, you know, 
how fast are these bolts actually moving, right? <laughs> I bet you didn't expect a math lesson because you're about to get schooled, guys. <laughs> a real quick schooling. I thought this was kind of interesting. So, 16 blocks. Each block in Minecraft is supposedly 1 meter. A meter is equal to like 3.28 feet, I think. There's 16 blocks between it. To calculate miles per hour, I had to get the feet per second. The time it took for this bolt to go 16 blocks, slow down in super slow motion in my recording software was about 0.2 seconds, guys. Uh, so it took 0.2 seconds for it to go a total of 52.49 feet, so 16 meters. I converted that to miles per hour, guys, and these bolts are moving at 178 miles per hour. So next time you get a fully upgraded bow with at least a speed of, I guess, 12.6, you're launching arrows at, you know, 178 miles per hour, uh, 286 kilometers per hour, if your country doesn't use that. <laughs> it's not actually ridiculous, because real life, I think they go like 300 or 350 feet per second, uh, real life crossbows, that is, when they shoot. And bullets are like 10 times faster. But yeah, guys, I just thought that was interesting. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm going to get back to work now. Please, please don't hate me. Uh, this is what I meant, they kind of linger. For a brief second, maybe 10, sometime 20 seconds. Into flames. I think the Wikipedia lied. Guys, let's get going. So, I don't need this anymore. Fenderium Crossbow 2.0 is now a thing. I wish I had it for the Ender Dragon, but eh. I'm already killing things in one hit. If I actually stacked uh, Quartz on it, like I should have instead of Knockback. But, you know, it's it kills everything in one hit anyway, doesn't it? Guys, I got everything all nice and neat. We are ready to move on. Now that I have infinite mana, it's time to make the sash. The sash itself was pretty easy. Uh, it just required a few things. It mainly required runes, like air runes and earth runes. Uh, unfortunately, I'm not sure if it's even in that, but I have my book here. I think it was an air rune. Uh, is it on the next page? Yeah. Air rune, earth rune, uh... Mana steel, leather. Okay, so let's start with the air rune, shall we? Uh, air rune is fairly easy. Oh yeah, I need to bring this over there, don't I? Uh, string carpet, feather, mana powder, mana steel. Uh, string carpet, feather, mana steel. I came prepared, guys, as you could tell. I was all over it. I was like, people don't want to watch me doing this for hours and hours. That's why I very quickly hurried up. I cannot remember if I had to put a mana spreader right next to this or not to siphon it out. I think so, but I could be wrong. Let's find out, shall we? Uh, one of these, a feather, a string. So, feather, string, this, that. Uh, and then it was a mana steel ingot, wasn't it? Yes. Did I even pick those up? Yeah. And then, yeah, it's crafting. Uh, unfortunately, yes, I do actually have to have a mana spreader. Sugar. I thought I had a bunch of extra ones, too. I know I did. I think I put them in this chest. Oh, I had a mana spreader. Ooh. Ooh. I'm going to need a few of these. Uh, let's just put this, like, right next to it. I don't know. Probably don't need to configure it because it's like right there, but whatevs. Okay, uh, here we go. Carpet, powder, feather, steel, string, and it's pumping it. Usually what this does is it shoots into it, but this time it's right next to it. So, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, what else do I need? I need the earth rune. So the earth rune is a mushroom, block of coal, and stone. Uh, block of coal, stone, uh, mushroom, and I also need living rock because I think to complete it, like as you can see, lightning and crap is going everywhere. You throw one of these on top of it. Never mind. Oh, yeah, it's shift click. It. My bad. Uh, throw one of the living rocks on top. Shift click, and boom, we got ourselves a rune of air. Now let's repeat the step here real quick. Let it charge. Let it charge. OK. 
cat, please don't jump off. I'm sick of seeing cats dying. Uh, I need another pedal. And I need another one of those crazy things. Uh, that's the backup. Backup! Please tell me I saved some of those. I am so scatterbrained. Where's all my stuff? <laughs> Why can't I keep organized? I have like two bags. Oh, I do. Okay, here they are. Two bags. I like how I said that. Cool. Uh, okay, here's another one. Let's throw another one of these on it. Boom. Let's get this out. Shift click. Boom. Uh, boom. And now we are ready. I think... Do I have to craft it in this, or do I craft it in the uh, crafting table? Uh, it looks like I just craft it in the crafting table. So. Sash time. Uh, man, it's still ingot. Uh, leather, which I left in the chest. One of these. Uh, rune of air. Let's get the leather out. <laughs> And there we go. Sojourner Sash. And I think it needs actual mana in order to run. Which now, we work on the next part. Empowering our stuff. It's kind of like a portable battery. It's called a mana tablet. Uh, to get one of those, you get mana pearl and you surround it with living rock. So I have some of that. See, I know a little bit about this. I haven't really even done any research either. Now, right here, I'm lost. I have no idea. There's actually a bobble. I think that... I never could get it to work before, but it actually stores mana. So it's one of these and four more of those. And I'm assuming it charges automatically. Put this up here. There's a ring of mana. Oh no. Oh wait. Okay, wow, I'm, I'm tooled out. Uh, unfortunately, I don't know how to use that thing. <laughs> right when I said I know what I'm doing. I never could figure out how to get to charge. Do I just chuck it in here? Is that what I do? <laughs> I mean, look. it's Is there a charging station? Is that what there is? That's got to be it, right? Okay. So shift right click. Uh, <laughs> nope. Oh, wait, there it goes. Okay. <laughs> Holy crap. Okay, it is very slowly charging. That is ridiculous. <laughs> I learned something. You shift right click on it. What I do, I'm going to make a spare. I don't know how quickly it runs out. Probably not very quickly at all. Uh, not the ring. I'll just have a spare tablet. Is it charged? It's almost charged. There, charge them both. How much mana is this using? Ooh, it's sucking up at all of it. Okay, let's not do that. Uh, the good news is the bauble is ready. And there we go. Is it even working? Yeah, it's working. Now I can step up. Yeah, see, one block. I moved probably roughly maybe double the speed, maybe, of before. I also have really big jumps. Like, check out these hops. Boing, boing, and now I could jump up here. Oh man, look how quick I'm going. Oh look, I even have the little tablet thing on the side. Dun 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 dun. Cool. How quick does it allow me to go though, really? Oh yeah, there's a difference. Yep. It is confirmed working. This platform. Oh, it's the worst thing I have ever seen in my life. Uh, so it's it's fully charged, right? Does it also charge in my hand? I'm wondering if it's like a wireless charger. Okay, guys, whatever. It's going crap. Uh, let's throw this spare in my bag just in case maybe I need some more mana. Cool. Sojourner's Sash. Check mark. Uh, I now move very, very quick. And now I can get around... Lickety split. Next on the menu, it's time to get into Botania Brewing, guys. Uh, 
something else I have little to no experience with. I do know I need an alchemy catalyst. Or do I? Why did I want to make one of these? A brewing station, cobblestone, and a blaze rod. Just take all this stuff, man. I put it there for a reason. Uh, brewing stand. Ah, the peaceful music. I need one of these for certain recipes. I do remember that much. You need mithril ingots. You put this underneath your altar thing, your enchanty thing. And it enhances it. Because there was something I needed. It's only You can only make certain items without it. And this allows me to go all the way. So what I needed now was the Botania Brewery, or the Brewing Station. Uh, because that is the first step to getting started in Botania. Brewing, anyway. Uh, Botanical Brewery. Uh, I need a Rune of Mana. So let's make another one of those. Get this. I do need some more of these. So let's drag this here. Uh, I do need more. Wait, I have Mithril. Or a uh, Mana Stilling it. Yeah, okay. I have some. False alarm. Man, look how quick I go now. I'm like zippy as heck. Fantastic. I wish on a star. I don't know. Pick one. I pick that one right there. Uh, it's in my crosshairs. I wish I had done Botania from the very beginning. I forgot how easy it is to do. Like, guys, this took... Well, it took longer because I had to get that ore thing. But it took 30 minutes to get this set up. And I'm already making things that make me go quicker. Uh, immunity to fall damage. I just forget how fantastic of a mod it is. One, two, three, four, five. And a mana pearl. That's easy. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, it's charging up, kitty. Very slowly. I don't know if I mentioned it. There's a little progress bar. I'm sure a lot of people know Britannia by now, but it's actually a really cool mod. I didn't get into it for a long time, and I kept seeing it in, like, every mod pack I've ever played. I'm like, what is the deal with this? And it turns out now I know the deal. It's actually very cool. So there's this, and now I got myself my Botania Brewing Station. Uh, not with that. With this. It's a shame I don't get, like, achieves or anything. Uh, let's get another one right here. I think it needs mana. I'm sure there's a fancy way of hooking this up, but... Eh. <laughs> That's my motto for life. Eh. Why? <laughs> resistance. Fire resistance. Water breathing. Invisibility. Night vision. So I need nether warts, spider eyes, and golden carrots. Uh... Nether warts. Spider eyes. Uh, I thought I had some carrots. I broke them down in the chest thing, didn't I? Yeah, I did. Or did I just throw them over here? Food. Yeah, okay. I still have them. Okay, so the next step is actually to make those flask. This book is actually really, really helpful. Uh, 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 okay, uh, mana still. Which is just, oh, okay, well, another easy recipe. It's just literally glass. I feel like we're on an adventure, guys. You're all learning Botania alongside with me. I already know quite a bit about it, but not nearly enough because I haven't really seen it all. And you're all stuck with me on the journey. <laughs> uh, don't tab out. I'm sorry. Uh, okay. That makes some mana glass. There was a thicker type of glass. So. Oh, boy. Here we go. <laughs> Oh my god, don't eat it. That's not good. Do I just throw it on there like I did the other thing? <laughs> Guys, 
Ah! Help me! <laughs> okay, crap, I'm back. Turns out you had to put the actual veil on first. Ah, oh, that was a trip and a half. And then you put the items on. So, it was spider eye, nether warts. And there we go, it's all on there, and then it just needs mana actually to get going. So, let's point this, like, right here. And it should start shooting it with mana. I do not know how much it takes, but I am mildly excited to find out. It looks like it's still going. Uh, oh, it actually gives you... I love this mod. It's so confusing sometimes, but it's so cool. So cool. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, yeah. And I think they have multiple swigs. Yeah, check this out. Four. So this is like vanilla... 2.0 if you want to make vanilla potions screw that just make these Now I'm assuming what you do is you actually put the blood pendant on instead, right? And then you probably do the exact same thing again to get the enchant down Right and I think it is enchanting the blood pendant so it will have permanent night vision uh, <laughs> If that is the case, I am impressed. I mean it's probably gonna use a lot of mana as in both from there and while I'm wearing it. So that is actually cooking, guys. I think that is absolutely everything I needed. I now have a full Botania setup here. Uh, not totally optimized, mind you. But it's still pretty dang good. I mean, I mean, well, I didn't completely. 